Hello, Leslie here with this week's new releases and also a bunch of shop announcements and changes. Again, I know I feel like we just did this, but I know that was back in March. So we've done the every other week new releases now um, since then, and we're going to be making some changes to go back to doing new releases on Friday mornings. So it'll be our first time moving it to Fridays. Uh, before Wednesday nights, it was previously on Thursday mornings. Um, so I think that will work better for our time management and for me going back to school in January. So we also thought it would align better with doing weekend sales and holiday sales. And we wanted to make this change before the holiday season sets in and way before I go back to school. So I hope that you guys will understand and it'll be all good. So this week's new releases will be on Friday, September 24th. And anytime you log in that morning, they should be up. If you're up at five, they will be up because um, they're going to be up before I go to work. So um, just in case you wanted to know. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's new releases. But feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below about any of what I just said. <laughs> All right. So first up, I know I'm so ready for Halloween, you guys. I'm so ready. I'm sorry. Um, last week, I already started releasing some Halloween clips. So here's another one. I found this one, this ribbon. It's white, like white taffeta kind of. And then it's got these orange pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns all over it. There's two different oranges. He looks worried. He looks happy. He's like crying, laughing. I mean, there's no tears, but like he has like the moon shaped eyes. Um, and then he's the one that looks worried. And then there's the happy one. And then it's trimmed in this like black, like plastic vinyl. So that's kind of cool. It's a little different. It does have a wire in it. And then you can get this on regular size clip or you can get it on the large TN size clip, like the one, did I put one? Yeah, I have one in a second. I'll go ahead and grab it. Okay, so the next new release is another sunflower. So we are bringing red into the mix. Um, we have done yellow, white, orange, and pink. So now it's time for red. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this will be the last sunflower. Not the last flower, but the last sunflower for this season. Um, this one is a large um, silver TN clip. I thought I would show you guys it on silver. Um, but yeah, so you can get this on this size clip as well. So no big deal there. The back is covered with red cardstock, so you don't see any like glue and stuff. Okay, so there's two. Um, I'm going to jump back to clip storage. I know it's been a while since we've done clip storage because of the every other week new releases. Sometimes I wouldn't get certain products done and then it felt like a really long time before I could release them again. So these ones are pretty much the same except for this front page. So this one has like giant sunflowers and this one has like smaller sunflowers. So there's basically three on this page and then more like one and a half on this page. But I really love this giant purple one as well. This one has a little purple one. But other than that, the pages are pretty much the same. If there's any variants in pattern I did, like make sure they were in a separate one. Um, so this is the first page. And then the second page has sunflowers and plaid, but you can see like this one's over here and this one's up here. And then the third page has <laughs> some beige floral on it. Um, it's a little textured, I will say, on here. It looks a little textured, like kind of like, like linen kind of feel to it. I think that's what it looks like to me. And then I have, so it's pretty much the same on this one as well. And then we have this wood grain right here. Okay. So it's a little, this one's a little bit darker. And then you can see there's a line through this one. So if you order, I'm going to put them in two different ones. If you order both, then you'll get a little bit of variance in these sheets as well. And then this one, you can see this one's pretty similar. Like there's a little bit of a leaf over here and then it's not over here, but like the border up the top looks exactly the same. So that one was kind of hard to tell if there was a difference. This one has a yellow sunflower that also has like a purple layer in the middle and then that like dark brown, almost black center. And then it's on a cream kind of, once again, like a faux linen kind of textured looking paper. So there you go. That is the five sheets. You can order it punched or unpunched for the Happy Planner. That's what I punch it with um, as far as that goes. But of course, you can always order tabs. And then you can kind of like stick it in your own planner if you're wanting it on the go or anything like that. So there's that one. I'm going to spread these out so you guys can see still. Spread them out. I don't know if I want this one on there. We'll just have this one probably. And then I'll put these ones back. Cool. All right, next up, because I love sunflower so much, um, I do have another sunflower bow that I wanted to release. This one is a darker brown. I've done another one that was more of a white cream. This one also has some kind of teal 
on the dark leaves, the leaves are actually, oops, sorry. The leaves are actually two-tone. Worked out, didn't it? So there's like teal and then dark green. And then this sunflower has like some brown back leaves. So I really like that. So I put mine on a gold clip, but this one can also be on a TN or the regular size clip. And then I also wanted to talk about Blue's Clues because of the video about Steve and like Blue's Clues is kind of trending and even Cricut Paper Co. made a Blue's Clues kit. So I decided to make my little puppy that I've released in a couple of different ways into blue. So I hope you like him. <laughs> I tried to like make sure the dots were in the right places. Um, so he's actually three shades of blue. So there's kind of a periwinkle blue for this, the spots and then like a navy dark blue for his nose. And then he's kind of this like icy light blue all the way around. And then I put mine on a light blue paper clip so you guys can see that. Um, if this one is pretty popular, maybe I'll make magenta too. So let me know if you also would want magenta. <laughs> and then the back is a light blue so you don't see like the clip and the glue and stuff. So there's our little blue puppy. And then I also, jumping back into Halloween um, and Critters, so I really love this one. I think I think they are pretty cute. So here you go. We have our little witch or warlock, I guess, uh, <laughs> um, of an owl. Um, his eyes are goofy. They're meant to be. He's kind of a little goofball of an owl. <laughs> Um, and then he has his big orange nose and then it matches his little belt on his hat. Um, all glitter, all glitter. And this purple glitter is like that special, like, ah, I don't know what you want to call it, like iridescent because the glitter on it kind of makes it look a bunch of different colors. So that's really fun. And he's got a little white tummy. So really funny and kind of like a little hokey, spooky little owl witch. So I thought that would be fun. All right. I know I already did a pumpkin spice latte, um, but that one was very fall, not Halloween. So I decided to do another coffee cup and this one is black and orange plaid. I just loved it so much. I was like, oh yes, this would be a cute coffee cup. And then I did a black glitter lid. So I hope you guys like this one. It just seems very like chic, like a chic Halloween coffee cup. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I made it. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> All right, going back into fall real quick. Um, not Halloween, but fall. I have this. Well, actually, it kind of is Halloween because you put out this pumpkin to show that like you have candy for food allergies. But there's like this teal and mint pumpkin. So you guys can see that. It's got the turquoise background and then it's got the mint layers here. And then I went with a white stem. So I went with a white paper clip. And that one's all glitter as well. So it's a two-tone teal pumpkin. Um, I did this in the white already. We did it in the white and then we also did it in the orange. So I wanted to bring it in the, here's the orange one. The orange one is like orange and yellow. So, and then, so now we have the mint one. All right, next up, still sticking with fall, is this burnt orange glitter faux linen bow. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? But see, there's like little speckles of glitter. I don't know how well that's going to show up, especially in like the photo for Etsy. So Hopefully you guys get to see this video, but <laughs> it's really cute. I love, I love it when we can do the faux linen. The faux linen is like one of my favorite bows to make. Um, and then I put mine on a rose gold clip to go with that shimmer. Love it. Love it so much. Okay. Next up we have custom pumpkins. What does that mean? Custom pumpkins. So I decided to do, I'd seen this a lot of like trending, like home decor. And I was like, I can make that into a paper clip. So we did. <laughs> so we have letter pumpkins. So you can pick the white pumpkin. It'll be different listings. So it'll be a white listing and then there will be an orange listing um, for the pumpkins. And it'll it'll be this font. Um, I need to work on making a mock-up of this font. But it kind of reminds me of like a typewriter kind of font as far as that goes. But I liked how um, bold it was. So this one will be white glitter and then black where the letter is. And then a rose gold copper kind of top there. I put mine on a copper mini and then this one is going to be the bright orange which is kind of that iridescent kind of sparkle on it and then a light yellow but it's still kind of bright like it's glowing like it's a glowing pumpkin and then it has a dark green stem and then I put on the green paper clip so we have custom pumpkins to get your letter on there so this is my first initial and then this is my last initial so <laughs> that's what I went with <laughs> and also run with craft scissors so that all works out all right going back to Halloween um, cause it's kind of fall Halloween. I'm um, going back to Halloween. I had to make a new ghost. I hope you like her. <laughs> I think she's cute. She has that little like ghosty giggle face. 
Um, so her glitter in her mouth and her eyes is purple to match her gorgeous purple bow and her purple paper clip. <laughs> but you can pick whatever color bow you want. Um, but the eyes and the mouth will be purple. And then you can pick whatever mini size or regular size paper clip that you want. And then the back is backed with that really thick white cardstock, which I love. So there you go. She has like, it almost like she has like a little skirt. Like it's like wavy down here. So I really like her. I think she's super cute when she's going to be best friends with our little owl witch. All right. And then to go back to fall again, <laughs> I had to bring back the pumpkin truck. So what color do you think I made the pump pumpkin truck this year? <laughs> it's white. <laughs> so I made it all white and it is all glitter. So the black is glitter. The inside of the wheels is white glitter. And then I went with copper pumpkins. So kind of a rose, it kind of looks like rose gold, but it's darker. My copper is like just a little bit darker than my rose gold um, as far as that goes. And then I actually went with a rose gold paper clip though on this one. <laughs> so that's kind of funny because this is kind of copper and I did rose gold. But I think the tones are really cute. So this is going to be fun for those fall spreads that we have. Our pumpkin trucks or pumpkin picking kind of spreads. Those will be fun as well. I think I'm going to put this on here so you guys can see it better. It's on my white background, this white wood background all right also fall a lot of people associate football and fall together so I needed besides doing the football paper clip which we've already done I also wanted to do a football bow because we've done a baseball bow so I was like uh yeah we need to do a football bow so it's just like green like the turf and then it has white stars and footballs so it works for any team I think I think I mean I don't know and then I did a copper clip on this one just because the brown footballs, but green would have been good too, or maybe your team color um, for the paperclip part. So th there's that. And then we have the stars in the football you can see on the back, but that's just where I fold it over. Oop, going to throw that too. All right, so we have a football one. And then I happened to spy when I was out some football elastic. So you know I made a pin loop out of it. So I thought this would be cute too for those football spreads or football season. Um, so you guys can see it. it has like a little bit of football here. And then it gets one right here, and then you get almost a whole one over here. So I would honestly flip it over, and I'd probably clip it like this so I could get a whole football on there. But if you just mind, if you just want pieces of a football, that's fine too. But there should be at least a whole football for you. Um, but this one's a silver um, binder clip. You can also get it on gold or rose gold. So then you just clip it to the side of your planner or notebook or folder, and then your pen can fit in here. We offer in the big size pen, the like skinny pencil size, and then we also offer it in like the this size like the paper mate gel kind of like fatter pen size so there's that as well all right this week's freebies I'm excited there's sticker freebies so I mentioned it in my live it was a live of raindrops on paper co sticker haul that I have a little freebie to throw in orders so I have them until I run out she gave me 48 of them so it should be a while <laughs> um, but there's a special coupon code for 15% off of her shop on there as well so I have a happy Halloween sticker, a little trick-or-treat Halloween bucket of a jack-o'-lantern, a little Halloween treat here and there. So adorable. So nice of her to include that, to send it to me to include in orders for you guys. And then this, I loved this paper so much. Um, so it's got pumpkins. It's got sunflowers. It's got leaves. It's got apples. It's got pine cones. Like this paper has everything in mini miniature. So <laughs> um, I had to have it. So I turned it into a pumpkin. I did. I turned it into a pumpkin. So this is this week's freebie. You can tell me in the note to seller if you want it on a regular size paper clip or on a mini size paper clip. So there's that. So I hope you guys are all good with all the changes. I'm excited to start my master's. Um, I'm going to be getting my master's in learning and teaching. Um, at least that's the direction I think I'm going. Um, I have applied to a school. I'm waiting for that to process. I have filled out my FAFSA. Like stuff, stuff is going. Stuff is, stuff is yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to start this journey in my life, I guess. So I'm nervous. I'm excited, but there you go. So thank you guys all so much for your support of my future and Etsy shop and YouTube. So it means a lot to us. And I hope you check in for new releases on Friday and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.